I keep I keep forgetting I keep forgetting to talk about this movie, so I'm, I'm just gonna be very quick. I'm gonna be very quick with you and concise. Pretty much, I I just I love this stink. I just love this stinking movie. All right, I I genuinely love this movie. I think that <clears throat> Wes Anderson hit a home run with this film. I, I saw this movie twice in theaters, and I, I genuinely I have no issues with this movie. I've thought about it, I've thought about it backwards and forwards, and I remember when I, when it first, I think it was after the second viewing for some reason, it really, really sank in that, like, everything that you're saying was, like, like, handmade, dog. You understand what I'm trying to say? Was, like, handmade. This is, like, everything, it's, like, it's, like, real. It's, like, a giant miniature universe. It is, like, a little giant universe. Does that make sense? It's just a it's just a perfect little film. It's like some strange culmination of everything that has uh, come before this film. Not only is his films and this film included very similar to the art of Dr. Seuss, but in my personal opinion, motherfucking Wes Anderson is the cinematic equivalent to Dr. Seuss. And that is made very evident by, uh, by this film. I mean, the, the color palette, um, how detailed these goddamn uh, environments are. There's, so, there's some uh, great, lush, gorgeous widescreen shots. Um, you can tell that the person behind the camera is, is, a, is, a, is a master, you know? The opening of this film, uh, this this bizarre segment with these with these kids on these drums the the humor oh, this movie is so fucking weird but I love it adorably awkward and quirky and bizarre and just beautifully subversively uh, random you know like like there's this one scene at the beginning of the film where there's this like like blind dog or like it's like blind in one eye uh, but this there's like this this dark dog that's like talking to you the viewer and there's like this giant fucking painting behind them and this 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 dog is just like reciting the history of some fictional place in or near Japan and when i saw that i was just like <laughs> what's happening the, the like the movie is essentially like a two-hour version of the trailer, and I just... And then there were some parts of the of the soundtrack that reminded me of my love for, like, the Samurai trilogy and, and Seven Samurai. Uh, and I loved how, the like, um, you know, we experienced the kid the way that the dogs did. Like, I love how... Because the kid's like, he's like a major, major uh, character. Uh, main character and loved how when he spoke a lot of the times we had no idea what he was saying just like the dogs it put us in the headspace of the dogs I honestly fuck I gotta do it fam I gotta do it I had no issues with it I just don't understand. I don't know I don't I don't know why I, I will never understand why people are so so fucking precious about the ratings like fuck we're all gonna die Rate, rate a movie whatever the fuck you want to rate it. Anyway, I, fuck it. I'm, I'm feeling the 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's, it's so fucking cute. It's, uh, there's, there's so much replay value. Really, what's wrong with it? Shit. Substantially? Substantially speaking? Honestly, I think the... Genuinely, I think the only issue is that... Uh, I, I don't know that I'll watch it billions of times like The Matrix. And um, I really didn't like that it ended. But that's about it. Fuck, I love it.